well, dieting right now is absolutely fantastic at 0.37. I've never seen it better than that. I think I got a dither, a dither coming up, though. But wow, <laughs> that's that's pretty good. The the closer I get to to pointing north, the better my guiding usually is. Oh, there goes the dither. All right. I keep staring at it. I still can't believe 0 0.35, 0 0.39. Wow. All right. I'll see you later. Hello, folks. Tonight I am going after the Iris Nebula. And I got off to a bad start. I set up all my equipment. I thought the clouds were going to clear soon. And they didn't. They just sat literally directly over my house, I swear. And I thought, okay, they're never going to get out of the way. I packed it all up, came inside the house, and of course, 10 minutes later, they cleared. I went back out, set up all my stuff again, and now it's after midnight, and um, I'm capturing data. I'll probably only get through my RGB data tonight, and I'm only doing one-minute exposures with RGB. And you can see the red filter right now. It's giving me a mean readout of 1,006. That's that's exactly where I like that mean readout to be. Uh, that that's a good spot, not overexposed, not underexposed. And um, let, let's um, let, let's take a look at one raw image. Ah, well, um, now I'm using my wide field telescope and. Uh, I took off the reducer at least, so I'll get a little bit more magnification. Now I'm at a 480 focal length instead of 384. But the iris itself, it, it's a pretty small thing, but it, it has dark clouds around it that I think stretch out pretty far. So I, I think I'm still okay with this wide field refractor. Although pretty soon I'm going to start running out of targets. I still want to do Andromeda with it, the Heart Nebula probably the soul, but after that, I'm going to have to switch to a, a telescope with higher focal length, and right now, my only other option is that SET, and I don't know if I want to keep going with that one for deep sky, or use that just for planets, or get a new telescope, but I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. Another image just came through. All right, I'll be back. Hey, a couple days have passed. And now I was out capturing CLS data last night, and I didn't like the way the data was looking. Uh, the moon was still bright, and there was haze out there, and I don't know. To me, it doesn't seem like the CLS filter is as resilient to light pollution as my RGB filters. It's just interesting. So right now, I'm throwing out that data I captured last night. I mean, I had... In one frame, I would have haze in, in one corner, then haze in the other corner. It was just all over the place. I, almost no data was good. But uh, this is what I, I captured with my RGB. I did one hour of each filter. That was the blue. And let's see. This is the green. And this was the red. And just with the RGB data, this is what my iris looks like. Oh, let's blow that up. I was doing some processing just to see how, how it can look without any uh, luminance data. And I probably overdid the, uh, the, the noise reduction, but that's okay. I just wanted to see uh, what I could pick up. And, you know, in a light polluted area, the dark clouds are, are very difficult. I, I always have problems with dark clouds. And, and I seem to forget that every time I try this, I, I, it comes to me, oh yeah, dark clouds, that's not easy. <laughs> but with three hours of data, it looks like I was starting to pick up something with those dark clouds, darker, there's it's just different lights, different shades of light, I guess, with the dark clouds. And I'm wondering, should I just capture more RGB data 
maybe an hour of data of each one again, or just go with CLS data, luminance. I, I don't know. Um, uh, I, I don't know. Should, uh, I know some people only use RGB data. I, I, I would I guess I would have to learn a new way of processing, but I'm kind of curious if I could just do three filters. If anyone else has an opinion on that, I'd like to know. We might have more clear skies tonight, and I'm, I'm debating if I should go with RGB or CLS. Yeah. I'll, I'll be thinking about it. I'm going to do some research, but that's all I got for now. So if I ever finish this Iris Nebula, I'll, I'll put it in Astrobin. But uh, one more thing. I, I think to really pick up dark clouds, I, I need to, to, to wait for ideal conditions. Absolutely no haze and no moon. With that moon still at 50 or 60 percent, I think it makes it that much more difficult. I, I in my light polluted area, I need as dark a sky as I can get. Okay, that's all I got. I'll see you guys later.